Surrender! Damn! How many of the Eldarians have gotten away? Just three ships. Less than 20% of the fleet, sir. Captain! Another SOS from Ship 18! No. It... it's gone. No! My brethren! Right in front of my eyes! Even though... I'm so close! How many ships are going to survive this? No, we don't have time for worrying. Our mission now is to get as many of these ships to safety as we can. Aquila, full power to shields. Bring up the rear of the Eldarian formation and act as their barrier. Once in position, open fire. We'll cover the Eldarian's escape with a full-scale volley. <clears throat> Report! Our engine's hit! The Aquila's lost propulsion, sir! What? The enemy's ignoring us! They're making a full assault on the refugees! Vessels 5, 37, 40 down! This... this is... they're slaughtering them! They... they'll all die! They're going to die! Damn it! Get those engines repaired now! Phase! Phase? Captain! One of the airlocks is opening! He wouldn't. Faze, come back! I can't stand this anymore. Watching my brethren die meaningless deaths is too painful. Faze! Them. All of them, no matter what. I'm not going to let any more die. I'm going to do what even Edge couldn't do. I swear it! Me. Me! Oh yeah, it's one of those times when don't go to the light means don't go to the light. <sighs> it's finally over, Edge. No, not yet. Why do you say something so stupid? We're going to EN2 now. To find out what we need to do. Come on, Maddie. You're coming too, Kay. I have no reason to stay with you any longer. I will track down the Grigori alone. But... Maddie... You're our friend now, right? That's why you saved us before, Kay? I didn't save anyone. If you'd been killed, you would have been an impediment, that's all. 
People who you don't want to die are friends, okay? What a simple girl. Would you still say that if you knew I was Death himself? Death? Through battle after battle, I've watched my men, my friends, die all around me. Always, only I survive. You people got lucky this time. But honestly, do you really think that luck will last? I wouldn't bet on it. Not with these odds. Oh yeah, huh? All right then. I'll take that bet. What? <laughs> of course. I already know I've won. Death himself? We're not about to fall to a silly superstition like that. <clears throat> as long as we have a path to walk, we can't die. Don't underestimate us. We're a lot stronger than you think we are. Such capriciousness. How amusing that you would say the same thing he did. <laughs> <laughs> We can get out of here. <laughs> oh my. You know what, Sarah? Do your job. Where's the safe thing? How close are it? Damn, they already close to 16, him and Limo. Oh, oh! Please, 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 Bye bye, cruel, cruel, affected cave of freaking big bugs. We gotta run all the way back to the freaking ship. Isn't that marvelous? Like they ain't raped by something. Took the great way back. I think. Oh, yep, yeah, we did. Do, do, Here we go. And two, everyone. Cracker, you little bitch. Cracker,
That thing couldn't leave Larry me alone. They wanted to rape her so bad. Finally, we get to go. All preparations for launch are complete. We can depart upon your order, Mr. Edge. <clears throat> All right, listen up, everyone. We can no longer deny that something's happening to our universe. We still have no idea exactly what is happening nor what's in store for us in the days ahead. But we may find the answer to those questions on EN2. And when we do, believe me, there won't be any turning back. Knowing that, if you still... It's all right. As long as we're all together, we'll be just fine. Okay? If you're going Edge, so am I. And you too, right, Sarah? Yes, I still haven't learned to fly yet. I'd be in a bit of trouble if you left me behind. All Lucian wanted was to bring peace to the galaxy. I'm going along with you. Because I want to, boy. I'm somewhat disappointed you would even ask. We are friends, after all. I'm sure you know what my answer is. My only aim is destroying the Grigori, but I'll stay until the rightful occupant of this seat returns. Raimi, listen, <coughs> what I'm about to do is probably, no, definitely contrary to our original mission. At best, we'll be discharged from the SRF. At worst... A crew's duty is with their captain. We all believe in you, Edge. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks. Down to go. Calvis, engage! Hey, don't poke your finger at me, Edge. I didn't do nothing. Yeah. Lift off! Relax. When the lad returns, I will vacate his seat. I... I don't care about FaZe at all, okay? It didn't even matter <laughs> if FaZe was here or not in the first place, okay? Hmm? Lim, your face is telling a different story. Yes, I agree. Like you're lonely and worried and having a hard time dealing with it. I... I'm not worried at all, okay? Faze is going to be just fine. He's got Crow with him after all. Mm, I'm telling you, I'm not worried, Kay. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> Something wrong, Raimi? What are you planning to do about our report to headquarters? Huh? Our report on Aos and the exploration base. 
Our SRF mission still isn't over, you know. I have no idea if they'll believe us about the Grigori, but we won't be able to avoid mentioning Crow. That's true. Crow's no longer... His actions have clearly deviated from his SRF duties. There's no question he'll be called to account for them. You worrying about this now? <sighs> I've been trying to figure out how to prepare this report for so long. My head's killing me. And I guess we'll have to tell them about Captain Grafton and the others. Yeah. <gasps> what is it? High energy reaction incoming, directly ahead of us. What? All hands, brace for... Uh, <laughs> damn! Oh dear! Yeah. Status report! The countless is hit, damage minimal. Propulsion systems? All functions normal. We still have full control. Prepare for retreat! Roger. Damn it! Who the hell is it? I've detected two heat signatures from ships in our path. I'm putting them on the monitor. Are those phantom ships? The ones that attacked the Eldarian refugee fleet? You don't think Crow... He wouldn't allow himself to be killed so easily. These ships must be unrelated. Second wave incoming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll return fire. Reroute the weapon controls here. Hey, I'm all for returning fire, but with the armaments on this ship, we won't stand a chance against them. If we try to trade fire with them, we'll be shot down first. Is that so? There's nothing I can do here. Hey, this is no time to be kicking back, meow. Third wave incoming. It's going to be a direct hit. Too late! We can't evade it! Raimi! Raise electromagnetic shields! On it! <laughs> electromagnetic shield strength down to 40%. Hold damage at 6% and rising. Damn! They just don't stop, do they? Now what? Another vessel is closing from behind. Registration unknown. What? More of them? Incoming fire from the unknown vessel. <sighs> Damn, Splits, you and half did it. Oh shit, I'm getting out of here. Oh. <laughs> what just happened? Did they save us? Do you know them? No. There are no Morphous ships of that design. If anything, that vessel actually looks more similar to... We are not your enemy. Repeat, we are not your enemy. SRF-003 Kalnus, please acknowledge. Kalnus? Do they know us? A acknowledged! This is SRF-003 Kalnus, with the USTA. This is Captain Edge Maverick speaking. Got yourself into quite a little jam, huh? Huh? You're... Is he a friend of yours? No way. That's... the commander of our moon base. And a hero on Earth. The first man to travel faster than light. The pioneer of space exploration. Lightspeed Kenny. There was a time they used to call me that, yes. <laughs> no, I'm just one of the suits. This is USTA Moon Base Commander Stephen D. Kenny. I am here on USTA orders. Allow us to more properly introduce ourselves, sir. I am Edge Maverick, Captain of SRF-003 Kalnus. I'm First Officer Rami Sionji, sir. 
fine limb, Kate. Miracle Shamot here. <sighs> Hello there. My name is Sarah Durand. I'm a feather folk who can't fly. <laughs> Miss Sarah, come here. Oh dear. Miss <laughs> Sarah, come here. <laughs> It seems you have a rather unique crew, don't you? Yes, sir. They're my friends, and I'm very proud of them. Edge, are you sure about this? They're all... The captain of a ship has full authority over all personnel issues, even if those personnel happen to be extraterrestrials. Then, the USTA is aware of the existence of extraterrestrials after all, sir? Yes, though our only direct contact has been with the Eldarians. Mr. Gagan was a true gentleman, very intelligent. <gasps> Have you met Commander Gagan, sir? Yes, a short while ago, in orbit around Mars. He had a fleet of Eldarian ships with him. <sighs> I see. So the refugee fleet managed to escape. So you knew. Huh? No, never mind. First of all, I'd like to have the report from your mission. Tell me, what did your investigations on planet Eos reveal? Edge. I know. Let's tell the commander everything. Even about Crow? I'm just going to tell him the truth. He'll have to understand. And besides, Crow hasn't done anything wrong. Yeah, All right. Why is she questioning that? I mean, obvious. I hereby issue my report, sir. What we experienced, what we learned, everything. That concludes my report, sir. It may be difficult to believe, but everything... Everything you say is true, correct? Huh? I don't have any reason to doubt what you say. You did well, Mr. Maverick. Coming through all those experiences without breaking under them, you did very well indeed. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, that makes the message I must relate to you that much more difficult. Huh? Following the appearance of Gagan's fleet, more and more Eldarian refugee ships came to our solar system. The Eldarians issued Earth and its people an indictment. They said their home planet had been destroyed by Earthlings. What? Huh? But why... why would the Eldarians accuse Earth of... Because of what they witnessed firsthand. Wave after wave of black SRF ships mercilessly gunning down their refugee fleet. But those were... Phantom ships, you would argue? I can certainly believe that. But... Can you really ask the Eldarians, who lost their beloved homeworld and now wander as vagrants, to believe it as well? It's only natural they would hate what they saw with their own eyes. The SRF. In other words, Earth. Mr. Gagan did come to our defense, but it was for naught. All the Eldarians' hate and anger is focused on us. How dare we use the technology they themselves provided for such ungrateful, shameless acts, they ask. Their indictment could prove to be fatal for Earth and all who live upon it. I trust, of course, that you understand why that is. <sighs> I do, sir. As we now know, we and the Eldarians are just two of many races living in our galaxy. If this incident were to become widely known, some of those races would certainly view us as a threat. Even if this did all arise from a mere misunderstanding. We've only just taken our first steps into space. It would present a danger to Earth beyond all imagination. 
So the USTA was left with no other choice but to offer the Eldarians and the government of Earth this justification. That is a factual impossibility. No vessels of that sort, nor any organizations that might command such vessels, have ever existed on planet Earth. C Commander, does that mean... The SRF has been dismantled, along with any evidence it ever existed. <sighs> We're well aware this is nothing more than a charade, but we have no other options to come to terms with the Eldarians. Earth will support the Eldarian emigration without compensation. We cannot allow a non-existent organization to disturb that balance. And so, that's why I'm here. I have come to you in order to bring a bit more realism to that charade. Commander, surely you... All hands, abandon ship immediately. Once you are safely aboard this cruiser, the Kalnus will be destroyed. <laughs> Two of the original SRF vessels still remain. One of them is SRF-003 Kalnus. No such ship exists anywhere in our universe. We cannot permit even the faintest trace of the SRF or its activities to remain. Yes, we must wipe the slate clean of everything. The fuck? Wipe the slate clean? After we dreamt of going into space for so long? After so many SRF men had those dreams cut short? After all the places this ship has taken us? After all the hardship my friends and I overcame together? Tons the band and ship. You want us to pretend none of it ever happened? That is something I cannot do, sir. I cannot turn my back on this path we've walked step by painful step. Not after all we've been through. Mr. Maverick. Do you fully comprehend the implications of what you're saying? The SRF no longer exists. As such, you are now a complete outsider. The USTA will not be able to grant you its protection. You won't be able to return to Earth. Indeed, you may not be able to find asylum anywhere. You'll be branded a traitor. A traitor? Even that would be preferable. What? I've made my decision, sir. Together with my friends, my allies, I'm going to stand up against this and fight! <sighs> I realize it's sheer audacity, sir. But, because I believe it's what I must do, I'm going to keep moving forward. If the alternative means giving up, I'd rather be branded a traitor. Stand up against the universe, huh? Quite a bold declaration, son. You'll no longer exist. Is that really something you can deal with? We can. Raimi, everyone. There was a time when Edge was so full of regret and worry, he stopped moving completely. But even so, he's managed to overcome every adversity and continue moving forward. Edgy doesn't lie, Kay. So, um, I know he'll fix everything somehow. I found myself drawn to the heat of Mr. Edge's passion and soul. I will stay by his side for as long as I can feel that warmth. Edge can do it. I know he can. So I just feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. Meow. Um, well, when I'm with Edge, you see, I get this amazing feeling like I can fly just about anywhere. 
The boy might still be a little wet behind the ears, but he's got all of us to take care of him, so... <laughs> I suppose even capriciousness has its virtues. <sighs> <laughs> he just stood in there like, mm-hmm. I'm going to move forward with my friends for what we must do. And for the memory of those who died with their dreams unfulfilled. Even if a hero such as yourself stands in my way, Commander Kenny, I will not give up. I see. The fact that you've overcome such formidable obstacles, gained so many companions in vast and unknown space... It's impressive. So go. Commander. Go forth. And do what you must. Dismantle the SRF? Don't you think that's rather short-sighted? Watch your tongue, Commander. Or do you presume to think your heroic reputation carries more weight than my rank? Seriously. Excuse my impertinence, Deputy Director Shimada. The USTA has reached its consensus. This is no matter for a mere moon base commander to meddle in. Well said, sir. Your job is to simply carry out the orders I require of you. Do you follow light speed, Kenny? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. But, sir, there's still a chance we can reach an agreement with the Eldarians. Mr. Gagan was quite amicable toward the SRF on Eos. If we ask him to intervene for us... Hmm. A little late for that, don't you think? It sure is. Any more friction with the Eldarians will only make my position worse. Your Very position? Well put. I won't be thrown to a kangaroo court so close to elections. It goes without saying. The men of the SRF burn with a desire to explore outer space. What will become of their passion, their dreams? And more importantly, sir, what are your thoughts on the future of mankind? The environmental degradation of Earth isn't going to stop. Mankind's only hope for survival is in space. My future is far more important right now. Why do all you ignobles want to make my life so difficult? Can't you understand that there won't be any future if Earth is destroyed? It's not as if the Earth is going to blow up tomorrow. This current matter is absolutely crucial for me. The SRF was a joke anyway. Romantic talk of passion and dreams without results disgusts me. Absolutely despicable. And how? I suppose I must agree, Deputy Director. Quite disgusting, compared to the passionate, dream-filled, noble idea of using successful space exploration to further one's political career. Hmm. Is that all you have to say? Then be off on your mission already. I can't imagine a hero of your standing will have much trouble shooting down such a lightly armed ship. <laughs> oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> Fat ass. Who made him over here anyway? 
What are you thinking, Commander? Oh, just thinking that I must be getting old. I'm astounded at how meekly I complied with such an absurd order. If an officer ignores his superior's orders, his own subordinates will not respect him. Very true. And nonetheless, as you plainly saw, I let them go on their way. Well then, Hines, how are we going to report this? Well, what exactly is there to report, sir? We've yet to encounter any SRF ships, after all. Besides, the original order had a critical flaw. There's no such body as the SRF. How can a non-existent organization command ships? That's clearly impossible. <laughs> oh. And yet, Deputy Director Shimada issued an order to destroy these fictional vessels. Really, sir, what was he thinking? <laughs> Trolls. <laughs> now, that's a charade. But, well, I suppose we can call it even now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>